In today's video, I'm going to be going over how to send out an email from the Dynamics Pro. I'll also be showing you how to send out an email blast to multiple people uh, through Client Touch. So the first thing I want to go over is your email template area. Um, your email template area is uh, in the Action Center area. And if you go down the first column, you'll see email templates. Now this is basically a storage for email templates that you may send over and over again. So for instance, uh, I have this basic home buyer workshop email template. And this is just an example. So you'll see the name of the template. So the recipient will not see the name. This is just for your reference. The subject line. Now this is the subject line that will be in the recipient's email. And then you'll notice that they have these merge fields, which are, are from right here. And you'll see it's real real weird. It says percentage, percentage, header, percentage, percentage. And then you'll see percentage, percentage, first name, percentage, percentage. And then, of course, this is just uh, placement text right here. And let me go ahead and correct that because that's going to bug me. And then you have the percentage, percentage footer in here. So the way that you insert these, and you may not understand what these are right now, but first I want to show you how to insert these, is if you go to this merge field, click on the drop down and then go down to special fields you'll see the header template and if you click on that it basically inserts this percentage percentage header percentage percentage now what this does this is this will automatically insert the header of the email so usually this is your picture your company logo your name and your title and then the footer is of course at the bottom and this is your email signature now let me show you where this is. So if I go back down here and I just hit, uh, actually let me go ahead and hit save. You'll notice up here in the email template area there's these tabs that say header, footer. So if I click on header, you'll notice that up here at the top it says whenever we see percentage, percentage, header, percentage, percentage in your email templates, we'll replace it with the content below. So that's what that is. So how we did the merge field and we select it and we put the header in there, it will automatically insert this wherever the, the Dynamics Pro will insert this wherever it see, sees the header merge field. Now the footer, whenever we see percentage, percentage, footer, percentage, percentage in your email templates, we'll replace it with the content below. So basically the system will replace this merge code with what's down here. Now, if, if you go into this area and you don't see your header and footer, uh, go to form, F-O-R-M dot jot form, J-O-T-F-O-R-M dot com forward slash 728-159-017-181-57. And you could fill out your form and then we will build you a header and footer for your emails, okay? So let me go back and then go back to this basic home buyer workshop email. All right, so again, so the percentage, percentage, header, percentage, percentage is gonna be replaced with the picture and then the footer will be the email signature. So let me go ahead and show you how to um, send out an email and then I'll show you what it actually looks like. So I'm going to click on add contact. And you'll type in the first and last name and then the email address. Click on save. Now you'll notice that there's a gray box around the email. So if you try to actually send out an email by going up here to the actions drop down and click on send email, you'll notice that it says this contact's email address is not opted in, cannot send email. Now the way that you opt them in, because Mark has given me permission to send them emails, all I'm gonna do is click on this envelope to the right, it's a green circle with a plus in the middle. You're going to click on it. It says this system is permission-based email system where the rules are strictly enforced. This means that you can only send emails to people who have given you prior permission to send them emails. I understand and agree and continue that I will not send them spam. 
I absolutely have permission to send emails to this contact and add to opt-in list. Now you'll notice that there's a green box that goes around this. Now you can send out an email. So if you click on the drop down, send email, now it brings it up. Okay. So if I want to use this template, if I click on this drop down, it'll bring up all my email templates. And then this is the one that I was looking at just a few minutes ago. You'll click on it. And it will actually, uh, it'll actually put this information in there. Okay. So again, this is where the percentage percentage header was. And then down here, this is where the percentage percentage footer percentage percentage was. And then now I could send this email out. All right. So next, what if I don't want to use an email template? What if I just want to send an email and I just want to type something in there? So you, you could skip past this part, go down the subject line. This is a test email. And then what you can do is you could actually um, type in percentage, percentage, header, percentage, percentage. Okay. You could even type in percentage, percentage, first name, percentage, percentage. Now what if you can't remember that? You can just click on this merge field, contacts, first name. And then it's going to automatically insert that in there. So then I'll put a comma after it. And basically it's going to insert his first name, which is Mark, right here. And then it's going to put my header, which is the picture. This is where... So this is where your email message goes. And then percentage, percentage, footer percentage percentage now just remember these two these two are super easy header of an email and the footer of an email okay now you're kind of like all right well this kind of looks weird um why didn't it populate the picture it, it's gonna anytime it sees this it's gonna automatically populate the picture so if i click on send email All right, and then now if I'm going to go to my split screen real quick and then go back over to this demo account that I have for Mark. So the first email that I sent, if I this was the email template, and this is the one that I composed myself. So if I click on this one, and you'll see it I put my header right here and then my footer. Now your footer probably won't have your picture if you have your picture up here. This is just as an example. So now if I go back, now this is the one I composed. You remember it was kind of real weird. I put in the percentage, percentage, header, percentage, percentage. So if you click on it, you'll see that it actually does replace it. So um, I did want to show you that. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and slide this back over. Now if I go down here and I click on this little analytics thing. It'll show me when the email was sent and then when the email was actually opened. So it actually shows when Mark opened that email. And you do this by when you're in the contact card, you go down to the notes and then you hit this and it'll open it up. Okay. And you can actually see the analytics to see how many times someone opened something up. That's good for like subject lines and things like that to see if uh, people are opening up, uh, you know, based off subject lines and things like that. So, all right. Let's just say, though, that you want to um, send an a email to all of your clients, maybe, you know, like a newsletter or whatever it may be. So if you click on Client Touch right here, you can actually... Uh, client touch is when you're working with a group of people. So client touch. And then if I go over here to this button over on the uh, right hand side, it says add everyone. I could click on add everyone. And I could even go to this manage and say, all right, I want to remove Jessica Curry. I want to remove Edward Johnson. So I want to remove all these people. Okay. So you could actually remove those people if you wanted to. You just click remove check from work group and then it'll change from 363 to 361. So if I click remove check from work group, you'll notice this, this goes to 361. Right here. All right. So that's a way of removing people from the contact. So 
Then if I go to the Actions tab, it'll say, okay, well, what do you want to do with this group of people? I want to send an email blast to everybody. And then I'm going to select a template by the, hitting the drop down just as I did before. Select it. And then I can add an attachment down here at the bottom if I want to. And then I could also send this email to the other contact. So if there's a, a spouse or something in the contact card, like Mark and Donna Pickens, then uh, you'll be able to send it to Donna also if, if you have her information in that contact card. And add a note about this email blast. I always just check both these. And then you could send the blast now or schedule the blast for a different time. So if I click on schedule blasts and I'm working at you know 11 o'clock at night, I could actually say, all right, well, Monday morning at 7 a.m., I want this email blast to go out. And then that's how you would send out an email blast to a group of people. And a lot of people say, well, if I put that in there, will everybody see the other emails and the uh, email addresses with the group of people? And the answer is no. It will just send it off. It looks like a one-off email. And it kind of like basically, it's it doesn't do this, but it's like a blind carbon copy where it won't show the other emails in the group. So you don't have to worry about it. It looks like it just went out to one individual. So that's how you'll send out an email inside the Dynamics Pro. And I do highly suggest go into the home page, go into the video tutorials, and then just going over managing your contacts and uh, email. And then you could also go down to the how do I. I mean, really, it would be a good thing to watch all of these just to see how the whole system works. Thanks for watching.